You know what I'm talking about? No, what? From Ted Lasso. He was like, dang, that boy moves quicker than the Tasmanian devil, but without all the blah, 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 blah. You remember that episode? I did. Thanks, you. I just want to get that for a sound bite. Oh, shh. <laughs> Here we go. This is the Always More Podcast. Hello and hello. It is May 31st and welcome to the Always More Podcast, where we believe there is always more room at the table for honest questions, meaningful conversations, and deeper understanding. Today on the pod, we are talking about black queens, highly in twinks, unnecessary rants, the best state, and so much more. But first, I'm your host, Christopher Thomas Ford, sitting next to me for the first time in too long. Harley, what are you doing? It's about damn time. It's about, about damn time. In a minute, I'm a need a sentimental man or woman. <laughs> Pump me up. And sitting next to her, we have <laughs> Timothy Allen Lichty. Hello, hello. The yeah. music just turned off. I didn't realize it did that. <laughs> <Don't> do very, <laughs> very abrupt, I think. Is it no we are your hosts welcome. for the day. We hey. are talking about all kinds of things on the Always More podcast, as we usually do. I will be providing snarky commentary and we'll get started with everything we've got going on <laughs> how you guys doing snarky <laughs> snarky commentary that's that's the thing i'm best at in life is snarky that, is that commentary. the best thing probably yeah either that or just like good rebuttals good like yeah, that's definitely riffing true. off the, yeah yeah riffing off the dome yeah yep. This but, but not in like an eminem freestyle rap kind of way more like an <laughs> snl comedic Improv kind of way. Yeah. yeah like, okay. yes. <laughs> What's and. the one with uh, Pedro Pascal recently? Where he's like, he was in the hospital. Oh, uh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hottest man of our son. <laughs> you have to meet him where he's at. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Babe. Bob. I love you. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, Harley, I'm glad you're back. That. Me too. Why, why are you only here for like five days? This is ridiculous. Yeah, it should be like a month. I agree. For those that are not physically watching, Harley is actually in our presence today. Yes. She's, She's here. She's physically here at the Always More Podcast studio. In fact, she kicked me away from my spot on the table, and now I'm at the kitty table, and yeah, that's how it's working tonight. Hashtag women's rights. You set this up. <laughs> you did. chose that spot. We were supposed to have- I was intimidated from afar. <laughs> Intimidated from afar. <laughs> by Just by your presence being here. It's like, I, I need to go to the kitty table. Your reputation oh, yeah. precedes you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we used to have a round table, That's if true. you guys remember. I do remember. But, you know, it's heavy. costs and stuff. You know, had to cut some. Cut we, some. we had to sell it on eBay <laughs> to, to buy our microphones <laughs> or something. I don't know. Or something. Probably something. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get this show started with our first segment, which is almost, as always, our Wreck and Rev. It's part of the show where we recommend and review some things you may not have seen. Harley, what's your Wreck and Rev for the week? So mine is Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, which oh I'm sure many people have actually <laughs> seen. Um, and it's so good. I actually started watching that today. Whoa. Not actually started watching. So what happened was I was playing video games and Janelle put it on the TV. Yeah. So I'm still playing video games while it's on and I'm catching little bits of it. Mm. Mm. It's really good. It's very good. Um, if you've ever watched Bridgerton, it's like... Um, uh, 17th century, 16th or 18th century. Yeah. And it's just like historical fiction, question mark. Um, but like, you know, romantic stuff for the girlies or the whatevers. Romantic stuff. Um, and yeah, this one is about Queen Charlotte and oh. King George. The like mad king or whatever they call oh, him. So. Interesting. That one's more, I don't know if it's like, you know, obviously accurate because the queen's a black woman, which is, you know, not historically accurate, but it should have been. Um, there you go. But um, yeah, it's so good. It's so good. Cool. So 12 out of 10. I wish it was longer. Six episodes did not justify the whole storyline. Uh, so Janelle will probably be done by the time I get back. Three, yep, yeah, three thousand <laughs> percent. Okay, cool, dope, nice. I'll probably watch it with her on her third watch through. 
There you go. Y'all know how she is watching shows. Yeah. Once you find like a good one, like I did that with Wednesday where I was just mm. like, oh, finish this one. I'll just put it on again. <laughs> it's safe. It's comfortable. I know what to expect. Yeah. That's how it was like all the shows from like the 2000s. You know, How Much Your Mother, Scrubs, The Office. Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. I feel you. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. I rewatch shows too. Mostly because Janelle wants to rewatch shows, but it doesn't really bother me. Unless, like, I really want to see something new, and she's like, I don't have the space for that. I'm like, all right, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Because Hunter's seen, like, every movie known to man. He's like, you need to totally watch this. And I'm like, I might have to clear some of this this hard drive before I can take in anything else. It's like an etch a sketch. You got to shake it out. Here you go. Erase some stuff. Tim, what's your reckon, Ref? The I narcissist- noticed in the notes you left it blank. Uh, the Narcissist Cookbook. Why is it on this one, but not this one? Because I'm not using internet on my old laptop. Uh, I, well, I'm, I can email, but the Gmail, but the, I don't know. Google Drive is dumb on this computer, so mm. I need a new computer, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I Anyways, agree. The Narcissist Cookbook. I think I mentioned one of his songs in the past, but I wanted to give a shout out because I've been really just digging to his music lately. Uh, his his um, his description on Spotify says he uses five round rapid storytelling and powerful songwriting as a siege weapon trained on the barrier between the stage and the and the audience. An irreverent, unpredictable, and imminent voice in modern spoken word. It's really good stuff. I think I showed you one of his songs in the car, Chris, uh, the other day when we went to the Dallas game. Yep. Um, Aww. I've really been liking this stuff. It really hits home for me. Just it really, you know, spoken word and it's it's a blend really, but it just a lot of the songs are really dealing with mental health and dealing with crazy hard things and yeah, it takes time for the songs to seep into you if that makes sense. Like the songs even if they're fast paced and fast tempo, they really just kind of seep in. Mm. And I kind of like that right now. So, nice. The Narcissist Cookbook. If you need some music that is not totally generic and everything like everything else, not that everything else is bad, but just if you need something different, I recommend The Narcissist Cookbook. But not like too different where it's like, oh my God, I don't know if I can anticipate what if, whoa, that was freaky. I don't know if it's like that. <laughs> it's, it's not like sea bat. Right. I don't even know what that is. It's... Like electronica <laughs> music? Kinda. I no, guess it's, it's close. Not that. It's you, spoken have word. Have you ever heard a train whistle? I mean, I know what the sound is, yes. Imagine <laughs> if a train whistle were getting beat up in a fist fight, the noises that it would make, that's sea bat. Yeah. Okay. But this is like, you know, good music that like you can emotionally and mentally take in. Oh, you kids. And handle. Your music. Your what? train Your train whistle music. Train whistle. I don't <laughs> listen to that. It's not something I listen to either. It's something you <laughs> you somehow know of. Why? It just happens to you. You don't you don't seek it out. <laughs> okay, well then I would definitely not seek it out. I wouldn't suggest you do. <laughs> All right. So my rec and rev is a little game I like to call the Legend of Zelda Tears what? of the Kingdom. What? I waited in line for this at the release party. Oh, really? And by waited in line, I mean they gave everybody tickets and you had to wait your turn when they <laughs> called you. They started giving them out at 11. I didn't get mine till midnight anyway, <laughs> which is upsetting, but also still kind of cool. They had like a little party. It was great. This game, though, is the newest, <laughs> the newest saga in the Legend of Zelda series, which has been one of my favorite video game series since I was a wee tot. <laughs> um, wee little Chris. We Chris we playing, lad. playing on the <laughs> Nintendo, uh, the NES, the yeah. Nintendo Entertainment System. That was the very first one. Uh, Ocarina of Time, probably the best game ever made. It's tied with The Last of Us. Mm. And this one, so far, has been really freaking good. I've, mm. heard, I've heard a lot of things on TikTok talk about it. Very similar to the last the one, Tim Breath Talks. of the Wild. <laughs> it is an open world game you can pick your missions you can roam wherever you want explore find new weapons items characters all kinds of cool stuff this one though has a lot of really cool new mechanics so like the the featured tools you can use you can still like move things around using a grab hand 
but now you can like rewind time for a couple of seconds back. All right, Thanos. You can build things. <laughs> uh, like you can attach things to other things to build things. Oh. So like you can attach wheels to an axle, attach the axle to a plank of wood, build that plank of wood up, and you can make yourself a car. So a Lego game. Uh, more or less, yeah. <laughs> but as you're doing all of these things, like you figure out the way to accomplish your missions. There's like a mm. billion ways to beat the game. You just have to figure out how you want to do it. And it's really fun. Mm. I have seen like the mechanic in the game I'm pretty good at is like building cars. Like I can build a car with four wheels, but I've seen people <laughs> build like legit tanks and mm. laser firing airplanes, in, bomb dropping stealth bombers. In like Zelda? In Zelda, man. Is this really even Zelda anymore? Then it is. I don't know. It's don't just like right. people like take it to the extreme. It's like, what game are y'all playing? Because it's not the same game I'm playing. <laughs> I'm <about> to say. <laughs> like I can build a boat, <laughs> and I can use a leaf to like add wind to the sail so it goes where I want. These people are building stealth bombers, bro. Gosh, but it's so much fun. I'm having a blast. The storyline is interesting. Um, some of the same characters from the previous games are back, so it's it's really nice. It's, I think one it's of my coworkers game. plays this game. It's out there. They really like. Legend of Zelda stuff. They should. Uh, Legend of Zelda is <laughs> where it's at. <laughs> Whoa. All right buddy. there. All right there, Tiger. Well, I get I get defensive of Zelda, man. I'm telling you. Don't get me started. <laughs> Don't get me started. Speaking <laughs> of which, great segue. We're going to head into our next segment, which is Don't Get Me Started. <laughs> this is a part of the show where we rant about something that probably doesn't deserve a rant. Yes. Tim's going to pick some random words, and we're going to go from there. I'm going to say Harley goes first. Mm. Oh, poopy, stinky. All right, Harley, you have your word. I have my word. Are you ready for your word? <laughs> no, because right. it's going to be hard. 60 oh. seconds on the clock, and go. I'm actually going to do 30 because I'm lazy, but my word is wheel. And I, <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, don't reinvent the wheel. <laughs> And people tend to do it all the god dang time. <laughs> it's so simple. Simple mechanics. Simple as, as Chris was explaining when you build a car. You make a little thing, you put the axle on the thing, and then you get the car. And people <laughs> like to be like, oh my gosh, I can totally do this whole thing and make it better. And then, and then uh, people come up with whole debates and debacles like, oh, how many more wheels versus doors are there in the world. And then we get a whole existential crisis. And this creates a larger problem than there really needs to be. And I think if we really just focused on the simple things in life, like walking, uh, this, this would not be a problem. So that's, I'm going to lock that in. I think wheels are actually essential. (laughs) They're very important. (laughs) Only because we've made them important. This is true. We did function without them. Is there an alternate universe where it's there the triangle no that is oh. the, the main mechanism of functionality. No, I imagine it's that, like a hexagon. That doesn't mm. roll. Do, 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 a do, hexagon do, 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 would be more practical, but not a triangle. Uh-huh. Okay, well, I heard that it. joke. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. No, I appreciate Smelling that. Smelling what you're stepping in. All right, Chris, are you next? I guess so. All right, Chris, your word. <laughs> Fun fact, uh, rutabagas are vegetables. Oh, okay. Yes. They're Chris... Basically, turn it. You know what? I'm not going to give you that one because that one's actually too easy. That's something the word the word is rent, but I'm not going to make that your word because that's too easy for you. That's not even a. a, It it deserves a rant. It does deserve a rant. Uh, Okay. Oh, yes. Thank you, Harley, for Mm -hmm. this word. Mm -hmm. Chris, are you ready? Always. Your word is weed. (laughs) Are we talking (laughs) marijuana or just like weeds? Yes. It said, yes. <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. All right. Say when. Go. Look, man, I don't know if you've ever tried to plant a garden, but there's one thing that I cannot stand, Lazy. and it's freaking weeds, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, if you, like, you plant, you, you go through all this effort to yeah. plant a seed, you water it, and you make sure it gets plenty of light yes. so that it grows. Cycle of life. And it starts to grow just a little bit. And then all of a sudden, here come these freaking dandelions trying to strangle the life out of the thing that you're planting. Mm. Like, if you want squash, no, you got dandelions. <laughs> if, you want, if you want, like, uh, sage or mint or something like that, boom, dandelions. Yeah. Weeds and, ooh, you know what? 
the rumor weed. Let's get that started, all right? I know you guys are veg- VeggieTales fans. If you listen to us, you've at least watched an episode of VeggieTales. Y'all remember that rumor weed yeah. who could not shut the hell up about Alfred being a robot? He wasn't even a robot, but she said everyone knows the story is all over town, and once you repeat it, it's hard to defeat it. Now look at the mess that you've made. This the Weeds are just, there's no point to them, and they deserve to die. <laughs> very, very good, Starting sir. Starting to get real passionate oh, about that one. <laughs> Beautiful, my good sir. Delightful. I'm just trying to have a garden, bro. Just trying to have a garden? Oh, man, Veggie Tales. Larry Boy saved the day in that one, didn't he? Uh, yeah, it was yeah, Larry Boy. Larry Boy. Guys, if you don't know anything about Larry Boy, you should take yourself a good 15-second Google search for Larry Boy. His plunger ears, his purple suit. Oh, no, what do you have for me? <laughs> Tim, your word is Meadow. <laughs> you ready? Those meadowing kids. <laughs> like M E A D O W? Meadow? Yeah. Meadow. Yeah. Three, two, one. Why the f do you want to meadow when we can have mountains? Wow. That's all I got to say here, guys. Look, meadows are cool. You can build civilization there. But what fun is that? When you have freaking Mount Everest that you can climb, Kilimanjaro? Guys, K2, K2, come on. Look, meadows are nice and, you know, whatever. They're fine. They're fun. You know, anyone can get into a meadow. But you know who gets into mountains? Freaking winners, guys. You don't want a meadow in your life. You want mountains. Do you know what else is the opposite of meadows that's just as cool? The bottom of the ocean. Go get yourself a scuba tank and go go explore a little bit, okay, guys? Look, you don't want to settle for your meadow. You want to reach the stars with a mountaintop. Get out of the meadow. Get onto your mountains. <laughs> I'm actually way more comfortable in a meadow than any of those other scenarios. <laughs> More comfortable frolicking in the wind. I would much rather <laughs> frolic. My man, y'all ain't telling me about frolicking. That stuff is fun. <laughs> Are y'all on black TikTok at all? No, come on. Have y'all seen? There was a trend. Of, uh, Actually, I am a little bit. <laughs> there was a trend a while back of like grown black men frolicking in fields. It was like, hey, how come y'all ain't tell me we was frolicking in this shit? <laughs> y'all out here frolicking and having fun. I want to frolic. <laughs> frolic. <laughs> Pretty great. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. So I think that's that's going to be all for our intro. It was pretty quick, I think. Yeah. yeah Relatively yeah. fast. Especially having Harley here. She, You know, she makes everything I take know. forever. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, guys. Don't go anywhere. It's We're going to head into our main segment when we get back from this break. Love y'all. Thank you all for listening to our podcast. Be sure to subscribe and leave a rating on your favorite podcast platform and YouTube. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at at alwaysmorepod. If you'd like to ask us a question for us to answer on the pod, you can email us at alwaysmorepodcast at gmail.com. Or you can call us on our Always More hotline and leave a voicemail question at 254-218-4042. You can also follow all of our social medias individually and as the Always More podcast. Thanks for listening. Let's get back to it. And we are the opposite of front. That's back. (laughs) If you didn't know, the opposite of front is back. Uh, I was like, wait, what? Threw you guys you, off. I you see weren't what expecting you did there. It. Yeah, see? You see what I did. I'm not in school anymore. All right, guys. <laughs> we are today, for the first time we ever, are today. <laughs> we are. talking about our main segment, The Best State. The Best State. We will be comparing <laughs> our personal states <laughs> of livitude, um, Texas and Kansas. Okay, how yeah. As well as just the South in general versus the Midwest in general. Because why not? Yep. Have any have any of you lived like West Coast? Nope. Nope. Yeah, me neither. I don't I've never even visited the West Coast. I've so been as far as furthest I've been is Colorado. I've been as far west as technically Nevada, the Hoover Dam. Mm. But that's but, but like I went across and I went right back. Nope. Never even been that far. Did you walk it or did they have like a Segway tour? Not a, no, what, the Hoover Dam? Yeah. No, dude, it's a dam. You fall off. Well, damn. <laughs> I think he means to get to the dam. No, you drive there, and then you park, and then you can go. No, I, I was just trying to get him to say something that I could respond to well damn with. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it's a dam. It is. Ah, 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 ah. Anyway. 
let's start off our comparisons and our fight for bestitude with the history of our individual states. A small history. A small history. Which is actually a long history. It's small to Tim. It could have been longer. It could have. Okay, so. That's what she said. Uh, oh. I made myself I'm sad. I'm going <laughs> to do Kansas. And Welcome tell you back, the, Harley. The history <laughs> of Kansas. So, it dates back thousands and thousands and thousands of years, of course, back to Native American tribes who, you know, inhabited the region, um, which include, like, uh, the Can... I think it's pronounced Kansas. 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 Um, Os... Osage? Osage? Osage. <laughs> Osage. Pawnee. Wichita. I just don't know if that's the white pronunciation, the Osage, or Os- Osage. You know what I mean? Pawnee. I know Pawnee is correct. And Wichita, um, who obviously lived in the area before the European colonizers, who then moved them, of course, out of all of the areas, but kept all of their names. And we'll get to that in a second. Um, <laughs> in 1541, Spanish explorer Francisco Vasquez de Coronado ventured into present-day Kansas while searching for the mythical seven cities of gold, which one of the, the towns is called El Dorado, but they pronounce it El Dorado. Oh, God. Yeah. Anyways. Um, <laughs> however, obviously, Spain did not establish permanent settlements in the region. Um, during the 18th century, French explorers such as Etienne... De Venard, Venard? Oh, goodbye. Uh, <laughs> Sieur de Bourgmont explored and traded in the area, and they established temporary trading posts along the Missouri River. In 1803, the United States acquired the Louisiana Purchase, which most of us know, which was um, sold by France, um, and that included the land, which would then become Kansas. So the Louisiana Purchase stretched all the way from the Gulf to... I don't know where the tip of it was. I feel like it was in Nebraska. It's pretty high up. No, it's got to be higher than that. I, think, I thought it was up to like Canada. Pretty close. Was it really? Because it like doubled the size of the U.S. Mm, yeah, it was. It was a lot of land. You know who would know? Who? Lewis and Clark. Those sons of bitches. <laughs> um, Truly. L- oh, speaking of. <laughs> they suck. The Lewis and Clark expedition, which began in 1804, explored the parts of Kansas as they travel- traveled westward. Um, in the early 19th century, uh, fur trappers and traders began to establish a presence in the region. And so the area became part of the Missouri Territory in 1812 and later the unorganized Indian Territory in 1825. Then the good old Kansas-Nebraska Act of 1854 opened up the territory for settlement and allowed residents to decide on the issue of slavery through popular sovereignty. This led to a period of intense conflict between pro-slavery and anti-slavery settlers, earning Kansas the the nickname Bleeding Kansas, which sounds horrible. Yeah. Um, In 1861, Kansas became the 34th state of the United States. It entered the Union as a free state, which means no slaves, um, contributing to the growing tensions between the North and the South, of course, and eventually leading to the American Civil War. Thanks, Kansas. It's all Kansas's <laughs> fault. It's all It really, you know, they were a big <laughs> contributor. Um, during the Civil War, Kansas played a significant role as a free state, obviously, bordering Confederate supporting Missouri. Um, I, too, I don't like traveling to, to Missouri. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like going there. It's fair I, enough. It's not a great, as soon as you enter the state, it just, ugh. Um, especially if you look like me. <laughs> yeah, it, mm, yeah, it's just yeah. not good. Yeah. Um, I went to Missouri once. I won't go back if I don't have to. Right. It, um, but the state experienced uh, several skirmishes and battles of the larger conflict, you know, after the, during the war. But after the war, uh, Kansas experienced rapid growth and development, which is wild because people were like, oh, my God, we got to get away from all of these terror places in the South because now everything sucks. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, the expansions of railroads and a huge agricultural boom, because if you didn't know, Kansas is in the, what is that called? The ag- No. The farm belt? The agricultural belt? It's a lot of farmland. The, it's, a, it's just... <laughs> it's you, mostly farmland. It's just, it's just cooking good old... I think, we've, I think we've said before there's three real people there and <laughs> farms. And farms. And lots of cows. Yeah. 
I like the cows. Those are the best part. Um, obviously, the state's economy relied heavily on agriculture, particularly wheat farming and cattle ranching. There you go. Yeah, so <laughs> that's all we got. Take it or leave it. It's a cow farm. Okay. Look over cows outside. <laughs> you seen that cow on yonder? You're a good cow. That's a good cow. That's a good cow. That's Billy. <laughs> that's Billy the cow. Mm-hmm. Um, in the late, <laughs> mm-hmm, I reckon. I reckon. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Kansas played a prominent role in the populist and progressive movements, which I did not know. Um, Activists from the state advocated for various social and political reforms, including women's suffrage and workers' rights. Period. You you never expect that stuff out of states like Kansas. Out of like a farming state? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And they're like, well, what else we got going on? (laughs) I guess we'll give women some rights. (laughs) Could be fun. Here you go. (laughs) This could benefit us. It's called a ruckus. (laughs) Today, Kansas remains an important agricultural state, duh, um, known as the wheat state and the sunflower state due it's to so its cute. significant wheat and sunflower production. Sunflower is the state flower. Mm. So like how Texas has the blue bonnet. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it illegal to pick sunflowers there? I don't think so because they will keep growing. And we everywhere. obviously re- rely on them for, like, sunflower seeds. We actually have a problem, guys. We need to get rid of them. <laughs> Please. Please take them. <laughs> Please, Please take the them. flowers. <laughs> um, it has also divi- diversified its economy with industries such as aviation, manufacturing, and energy production. Um, if you didn't know, there's a lot of those windmill turbine, tur- oh, turbines yeah. there. So they be turning. A lot of wind out there. A lot of wind. Nothing that Texas uses, though, because we're on our own grid. Yeah, We yeah. don't share the grid with the rest of the country. Nope. Losers. All right. I got the Texas one. Should I do it with an accent? Should I try? Please don't. Okay. (laughs) The history of Texas begins with the arrival of Native American tribes, including the Apache, Comanche, and the Chris? Karankawa. Thank you. Who inhabited the region for thousands of years before European colonization. The first European explorer slash colonizers of Texas was carried out by Spanish conquistadors. In 1519, Alonso... Alvarez de Pinata mapped the Texas coastline. In 1828, Alvar uh, de Vaca and his companions became the first Europeans to set foot on Texas soil after being shipwrecked on the coast. Guys, there's a fun story there that I really want to tell at a later date. Okay. Hold that for later. Uh, In the 17th century, Spain established several missions and presidios forts in Texas, seeking to convert the Native American population to Christianity and solidify their claim to the territory. The most significant mission was San Antonio de Padua, 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 excuse me, founded in 1718, which later became the city of San Antonio. You it, don't say. San Antonio. <laughs> Here's your son. In the early 19th century, Mexico gained independence from Spain, and Texas became a part of the Mexican territory. To encourage yeah. settlement, the Mexican government ensured land grants to Espri- ooh, es- empresarios. Oh, thank you. Uh, land agents who brought in settlers, including Stephen F. Austin. Hate that guy. Known as the father of Texas, American Boo. colonists attracted by the generous land grants began to settle in significant numbers. Tensions arose when the American settlers and Mexican government, mainly due to cultural and political differences such as slavery, uh, as well as disputes. Oh, there it is. As disputes over slavery, uh, in 1835, the Texas Revolution began when Texans, American settlers in Texas, staged a rebellion against Mexican rule. The Texians declared independence from Mexico and formed the Republic of Texas in 1836. The Republic of Texas existed as an independent nation for nearly a decade. During this time, conflicts with Mexico continued. Cold, cold culminating in the famous Battle of the Alamo in 1836, where a small group of Texian defenders fought against a much larger Mexican force and succumbed to them. (laughs) And lost. In 1845, Texas was annexed by the United States and became the 28th state. However, this led to further tensions with Mexico, which considered the annexation an an illegal act. The annexation of Texas was one of the factors that eventually led to the Mexican-American War. Guys, America pretty much just started that. Oh yeah, yeah they yeah they poked they poked at him. Yeah. Anyways, 
The Mexican-American War ended with the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848, which established the Rio Grande as the border between Texas and Mexico. As a result, Texas gained additional territory, including parts of the present-day New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, Utah, Nevada, and California. Following its entry into the United States, Texas experienced rapid growth and development. The discovery of oil in the early 20th century further fueled the state's economy. Today, Texas is known for its diverse economy, cultural heritage, and as second-largest state in terms of both area and population population and that's the small history of texas there's a lot more a lot more bs yeah i left out a lot of the racism and there is quite a lot there's yeah all of it to this day <laughs> yeah. all of the racism in the united states is centralized right here in texas right in texas. right here in texas get your racism <laughs> <laughs> that's grown. what the state fair is based on <laughs> I mean, it probably is. You think you're getting deep-fried Twinkies, but it's really deep-fried racism. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. All right, guys. Well, thank true. you for... Let's let's uh, skip over that. Thank <laughs> you for the fun history of those two states. Let's move on to our Girl. next segment that Tim has for us, which is the weird state laws game. Yes. I don't know what he means by this because he literally just put the title there. Yep. Yes. That's all we get. I did it on Take purpose. it or leave it. All right. All right. Let's so, play. So I'll win. You guys, uh, Probably. don't worry, you got multiple choice, but there's some really weird, strange laws out there. Yes. Like state laws that came to existence when there was like two people that lived in the state, but they just didn't get rid of it. And so it's still there kind of <laughs> thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like people are like, why don't we get rid of this? I don't know. It's kind of fun. Here's the thing. It's <laughs> too much effort to right. get rid of it. I don't know what you kids are into these days, but I do know one thing laws are threats. Imposed on us by a dominant socioeconomic society. And the police are basically just an occupying force. Call me. Go off, queen. So true. You guys want to make some bacon? <laughs> All right. So uh, in this game, I have 10 questions for you and a tiebreaker. Uh, whoever gets the most questions or the most uh, right answers wins. You ready to play? Yeah. In what state is it illegal to possess an explosive golf ball? I would assume Florida. Nebraska. This, this so, is all of the states, right? All states. All 50 okay. states. Oh, oh yeah. Said Give illegal? us our... I, I have multiple choice. I have multiple oh, choice. Yeah. Illegal? Illegal. Okay. Do you want to... Nebraska? Explosive. <laughs> explosive? Explosive golf ball. Nebraska, Florida, Massachusetts, or Alaska? I would assume Florida because most laws are put into effect They're because the one somebody to have did those. something. <laughs> Yeah, because somebody did something that other people were like, hey, let's not do that again. No, they definitely allow it. I imagine it's Alaska. Locking that answer in. Is that your, I'm, both final I'm answers? Florida. You are both incorrect. It is the fine state of Massachusetts. Uh, what? Darn Yankees. Yeah. I feel like Massachusetts would be like, yeah, do what you want. Have a bomb. Um, do you remember the in, Boston? In the state where Boston Washington, D.C. exists? I don't think so. Yeah. Boston Marathon was not too good either. Uh, moving along. Uh. In Nevada, <laughs> it is illegal to go riding what animal on the highway? Did you say Washington, D.C. is in Massachusetts? It's near it. Oh, it's Mar Maryland, isn't it? It was the other M state. I knew that one. Isn't it? It's in it's West Virginia. No, it's not. No, it's Did not Did you say in Washington, D.C. is in West Virginia? It's in, not it's in any in state. That area. Just so it's everyone the knows. District of Columbia. It's in that area. It's like no, it's my friend. Virginia. No, my friend. It's on the Potomac. East Virginia. East Virginia. I don't know my directions. It's East. on the Potomac. I know that. West Virginia is to the west. I don't <laughs> know my directions. <laughs> don't make fun of me if it's you don't know what you're talking Virginia's. about. I know it's not in Massachusetts. <laughs> Okay, what's the next question? In Nevada, it is illegal to go riding what animal on the highway? Tiger, donkey, camel, or giraffe? In Nevada? In Nevada. <laughs> like, you would have to assume somebody tried to ride a tiger. <laughs> but, <laughs> or a giraffe. But or I'm going to go ahead and say camel because that seems like the most likely. <sighs> What was the second one? Uh, donkey. Donkey. I'm going to go with donkey. 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 What was your answer, Chris? Camel. The correct answer is camel. Ooh, got him, coach. I figured that makes sense. It's, it's, a, desert. it's a desert state, yeah. so I figured that somebody would yeah. have to try. Someone out there. All right. It is illegal 
to get a fish drunk in what state? <laughs> <laughs> All of them? <laughs> South Carolina. Oh. Washington. Oh. Louisiana. Or Ohio. Louisiana. That that has Louisiana oh, written all over it. He's right. I feel like. Do you both want to say it? I want to, but then I also want to say Washington because you know, ocean. Mm. I'm gonna go with. But Louisiana Washington. has a coast. Yeah, but so does Washington. They all have coasts except for Ohio, though it does have a lake. I'm gonna go with Louisiana. Washington, but I also feel like people will get fish drunk in Ohio. Which final answer? I'm gonna go with Ohio. Ohio? Yep. You're correct. It is Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. No nobody, darn Ohio. Nobody would outlaw that in Louisiana. <laughs> that's how that's plenty of good fun. stories start. I'm pretty sure that's a sport. <laughs> Best drunken. Best drunken. All right. That's how you catch them. <laughs> catfish a catfish while you're catfishing. That easy. All right. In Connecticut, what item must be able to bounce to officially be recognized as that said item? So, like, it has to be able to bounce for it to be legally that item. Is it a pogo stick, a pickle, a bouncy ball, <laughs> or a phone case? A bouncy ball? Wait, it has to bounce to be recognized as that item? Mm -hmm. Pogo stick. I, Anything can I'm be thinking, a pogo stick. I'm thinking pogo <laughs> stick, too. All right, both pogo stick? Yeah. The correct answer is pickle. What? Son of a... <laughs> <laughs> you never heard that before? Like a, a pickle bounce? like a like. A, a no, Tim. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. In, or, in order for it to be a pickle, it has to bounce? Yeah. Yeah. It, like, it, because appar apparently How it's like the right consistency in the mass like after it's pickled and everything. I just imagine like chucking Somebody's up like, this a isn't pickle a pickle. I'm like, what are you talking about? Of course it's a pickle. Oh, yeah? <laughs> 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 yep. And just... Max. All right, guys. You're not, you aren't do so hot on this. We we both have one point. I, in America, frankly, yeah. you never know what you're going to get. In what state are animals banned from mating publicly within 1,500 feet of a tavern, school, or place of worship? Oh, California, Kentucky, North Dakota, or Kansas? Kansas. It's probably California, but I'm going to go with Kansas. That sounds like a Kentucky thing to me. I feel like in Kentucky, they would allow it. <laughs> I allow that. <laughs> I allow it. That's all right. <laughs> That's just fine by me. Um, They're just doing their thing. It's just nature. <laughs> it's just nature. <laughs> I'm going to stick with Kentucky, though. All right, Kentucky and Kansas. The correct answer is California. Dang, Ooh. I knew it. Yeah. I was like, I had a feeling. All right, moving along. Audience, I hope you're doing better than these guys are. Probably not. <laughs> in Maryland, it is illegal to take, along with outside food and drinks, what to the movies? A projector? <laughs> <laughs> a lion? Mm. Bell-bottom jeans? Or a Wookiee? Bell-bottom jeans? Yeah. What state is this? Maryland. Uh, a tiger. I'm going to say a Wookiee. The, the, the one was a lion. Is that what you meant? Oh, a lion. You said a lion. You said a Wookiee? I'm going to say a Wookiee. The correct answer is a lion. Yes. <laughs> Somebody was like, hey, buddy, you're going to be on the TV. <laughs> Come look. I called for help twice. <laughs> and not a fuck you, what do you need or nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Where is it illegal to use elephants to plow your cotton fields? North Carolina, <laughs> Mississippi, Tennessee, or Texas? North Carolina. Mississippi. North Carolina is the answer. Yes. Son, Son of a... <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bisque. <laughs> All right, number eight. Harley's in the lead. Three to one. Here we go. In Idaho, it's perfectly legal to go fishing while sitting on your buddy's neck. But if you plan on sitting on on or in this while catching a big one, you could get reeled into your local jail. <laughs> is it A, jacuzzi, B, another fish, what? C, a cooler, or D, a giraffe? Cooler. I think it's cooler. But I'm going to say jacuzzi. The correct answer is a giraffe. What? 
I'm so confused. What state is this? <laughs> Idaho. Where are these people Why getting these animals? Why are they getting animals? giraffes? <laughs> you guys are underestimated, these wild animals <laughs> <laughs> in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in like a state like Idaho. <laughs> like, why Idaho. do you have that? Why are I you didn't fishing know they with a giraffe? I've actually ever seen a giraffe in Idaho. <laughs> I just imagine the giraffe like walking through the creek and he's like, I think they call it a in. crick there. <laughs> crick. No, that's, that's a, a southern thing. All right, number that's nine. Hot. Number nine. If you're looking to go hunting in a cemetery, which state will stop you dead in your tracks? Uh huh. Uh, a, New Boo. Mexico. <laughs> I'm going to hit you. <laughs> B, Oregon. C, Wyoming. Or D, Rhode Island. Rhode Island. What were the others? New Mexico, Oregon, Wyoming, or Rhode Island. Oregon. The correct answer is Oregon. Hey. Uh. Getting close back up to recovering. Poopy. All right. Number 10. While Maine is known for its hospitality and small town nature, if you catch yourself in a snowstorm, you can't park in front of this store. A. Duck and Donuts. B. Ace Hardware. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Toys R Us. Or D. White Castle. Ace Hardware. Duncan. You're going to be like, why are you parked right there? You know we got to get our donuts and our coffee. I'm thinking Duncan. Okay. I think it's also Duncan, actually. Both of you Duncan? Yep. The correct answer is Duncan Donuts. Hey. Nice. All right. Good job, everyone. Chris, you had three. Harley, you got four. <gasps> All right. But for five million points, here's the last one. There's no... This is... Whoever can get this one first. So there's no, like... Okay. There's no um, uh, list. It's whoever can give me one of the states. You ready? I'm going to cry. Who can tell me first what state is is it explicitly illegal to go whaling? Oklahoma. Yes. Chris, congratulations. I knew that one. <laughs> I was literally winning. This is not fair. Five million and three points to your measly four. Suck it, Harley. I'm never coming back to Texas. <laughs> I win again. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, congratulations. See, look, I'm real good at these games, mostly because I cheat. <laughs> There's no way I would have won that if it weren't for that last one. No. We would have tied at best. I hate it. Good job, everyone. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> You're a scholar and a gentleman. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, that was a fun game. I'm sweating. Let's let's do some comparisons here. Like I said, we're not just talking about our states, even though Texas is way better than Kansas at pretty much everything. Um, we're going to talk about the Midwest versus the South. Mm. So the Midwest is one of the four census regions recognized by the United States Census Bureau in the Midwestern United States. Who would have known? Huh. Commonly known as the Midwest or the American Midwest, they consist of Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, North Dakota, Ohio, South Dakota, and Wisconsin. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California. <laughs> Just the way Why go. don't we have a B state? That's always bothered me. Baltimore. That's, That's a, a city. town. That, yeah. yeah. We don't have a B state. Wow. About that. But kiss big naughty. New Sorry. state. I watched. I vote mm. for Butt Kiss McNulty. She provided <laughs> doesn't right. too. We also have the South, which is the Southern United States. Um, same thing by the Census Board, yada, yada, yada. Also known as Dixie, the Southern States, the Blech. American South, mm. Southland, or simply the South. So who calls it Southland? I don't know. I don't know what single person calls it that. Elvis? I don't know. That's Graceland. Oh. That, yeah, that was his house, man. He lived there. Okay. Well. Anyway. Alabama. Uh. Oh, so we, true. So true, say, bestie. The South consists of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, South and North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Delaware, and Maryland. Let's start those comparisons. What do we have for amusement parks? So what These are fun sections, fun segments. So what we're doing is we're, we're, we're coming to a consensus here. There's three of us. And whichever one wins these categories is 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 going to be labeled as the best like section. So who has the best amusement parks, the Midwest or the South? Now I think we should exclude Disney World because that's an like automatic winner. I mean, it is in Florida though. 
It's the South, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess that's that. But that's fine. It's Florida, so oh, I don't yeah. know. You have to go to Florida to get to Disney. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good the, point. You got to go through a lot of Florida to get there. You can't just like fly into Disney. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it, it counts. You have you have Six Flags, which there is one in Kansas, isn't there? Nope. No. Oh. Well, never mind. There's Worlds of Fun in Kansas City, Missouri. I've never been. Hunter <laughs> told me it's pretty cool, but... Oh. It's Has just he ever a, been to Six Flags? I don't know. I've been to Six Flags. I love me some Six Flags. Six Flags is lit. It yeah. is. The only one I like is in San Antonio. I don't like the one in uh, Fort Arlington. Worth. Arlington. Yeah. Don't care for it. Uh, there used to be one in Houston. Schlitterbahn. Pretty dope. Pretty cool. Schlitterbahn was lit, too. Um... I, I like, like the I like the wave the wave pool lazy river thing. I feel like there's another amusement park. Say so Harley, you gotta defend Midwest a little bit. You got anything? I know. They have casinos. There's a six flags <laughs> in the Midwest somewhere. There's gotta be somewhere out there. Probably. Um even though that doesn't make sense because six flags is about the six flags of Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Um I'm pretty sure there's like a lot of casinos with like water parks and amusement parks in them. Do I know of them? No. Well, um, let's, let's see. But I think I went to one after a funeral in Ohio one time. <laughs> so that's all I got going for me. Yeah, I'm sure there's like small ones all over the place. But like far, as far as any big ones, I can't mm. think of anything. They have Six Flags Great America. Uh, Silver Dollar City. Uh, Nickelodeon Universe, that's a thing. Oh, wow. See, but I've never been to these places, so I can't vouch and be like, yeah, they're so cool. Mm. So Six cool, Flags so St. Louis. Oh, there it is. They have Great Wolf Lodge Misery. in Illinois. Well, they have that here too. Yeah. All right. Pirates so go that's all. So all I think the of South America. Wins. Yeah. Are we in agreement? Yeah. South the, wins? No, the South wins. Okay. Especially if you're including Disney. All right. Let's talk about food here. Who wins food? Oh, the South. But I'm gonna try to defend. Don't. I mean, okay. <laughs> you you have to consider you have Chicago up there. So I mean, that's a Chicago dogs and Chicago style pizza. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So true. You have corn. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for the Midwest, half of your food would not exist. It's very true. Corn so. chips. High fructose corn syrup. You know those are made originally <laughs> by natives of the South, right? With maize. But where's most of the corn made now is what I'm saying. Most. We would still have corn, just not as much right. and that's for the rest of the country too not but just corn here. was also on the west i like mean we can sustain ourselves with the amount of corn we make the midwest is mostly sending corn to like cities and places my point like is, that. is that most of the corn in the u.s comes from the midwest but if you're saying like the south can't have corn because the midwest has corn no that's not what i'm saying i'm saying right, the, 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 the midwest is prominent for the it's corn it's like the same thing with the wheat bread that doesn't matter I'm not saying you can't make have wheat in other states either. What I'm not saying is it's prominently in the in the Midwest. That's yeah, like but we're comparing we we're comparing like the top things. Are you telling me that corn is not one of the top things in the Midwest? You think not corn delicious? is known in the South? Not as prominently. I think corn is well enough in the South that we can sustain ourselves. We that's don't. Not we don't have to arguing. rely that's on. That's not, that's not the Midwest argument corn. here. I'm that's not saying that we can't do that. I'm saying it's more prominent. Okay, if, if fine. I, the Midwest has us someone, in corn. If I were to go to someone that's out of Europe, like in Britain or something, like, hey, name a state that has corn in it. They're not going to say Mississippi. Okay, they're going to say Kansas or Nebraska or. Or Iowa. they're not going to know what the states are because we're a confusing country. My, no, you're not going to have like anyone just say different countries. No one is going to say coast. Florida is known for its <laughs> corn. That's all I'm saying. Have you seen the map of the German guy, like, oh in the God. States? He's like, is this Texas? <laughs> Texas, question mark? Yeah. Texas, question mark? No, this is definitely Texas. <laughs> Florida, question mark? Ohio? Some Western country? No, this is the Western States. Like, he has no idea. All right, you brought up something before we start Corn? recording. Barbecue. Now, this is actually very divisive because there is barbecue, barbecue in both sides. Like, you got, well, Tennessee is south, I guess. Because you have, like... Um, Southern barbecue beats any other barbecue, and specifically Texan barbecue beats any other barbecue. Mm. Kansas has its own barbecue. I know that. And it's weird. I don't... I can't tell you if it's good or not. Yeah. Harley's actually eaten it, like, four or five times. <laughs> she just passes out every time <laughs> because it's awful. All right. She uh, forgets. Okay, so anything else, though? Like, anything else to defend the Midwest here? 
Um, I mean, cows. I mean, the, well, I guess Texas has got a lot of cows. It's a cow farm. <laughs> it's going to be cows outside. Kansas, Kansas has got a lot of cows. Like a lot of cows. Texas also has There's a, a lot whole of lot of Angus. They probably have more cows than they do people. Yeah, 3,000%. There's probably more cows in Kansas alone than there are people in Texas. Yeah. There's this, a lot of cows. This is pretty much just turning into our own bias part of the show. Probably. Yeah. We um, hate Kansas. Texas is better. Uh, uh, no, it's not. We also hate Texas, but for different reasons. All right. Let's talk about cities then. Because I feel like this one actually might have a competition here. I don't think so. Because you have... Okay, <laughs> look, look. Here's the southern states that I think are arguably good. Okay? You got Austin. You have... Is Atlanta, that it? you've got Louisiana, Atlanta. you got Louisiana's Frick, a state. I mean, New Orleans. I meant New Orleans. Okay, New Orleans is you okay. Have, um, okay, but New Orleans is hot and sweaty and just. Yeah, but you winter. have Destin, Florida. You have. You have um, what in Florida? Destin, Florida. Orlando. Where like all the great beaches are. Oh, Tampa. Yeah, I guess you're right. You have Saint South Pete. Padre Island. You got well, Houston. Well, Houston is not great. Houston's fantastic. Houston I don't want to hear amazing. no slander. What are you talking about? I prefer. It I love. It takes Houston. forever to get anywhere. Have there. you been to he- Dallas? Yes. Have South you been to Dallas Oklahoma kind of City? Sucks. Yes. Horrible places <laughs> in comparison to Houston. True. What Houston is so is great so- about Houston? Houston is just great, and the there's culture. culture. Yeah. What culture? Yeah. <gasps> White man. <laughs> You, you got to take a step outside look, of your no, no, comfort look, zone, Tim. No, no, look, 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 look. If you're talking about culture, San Antonio's got so much more culture than Houston does. I prefer no. San Antonio any day over Houston. San Antonio has this a lot of culture. This feels anti-black right now. San Antonio has a lot of culture in the Hispanic communities. Like, there's different types of Hispanic communities in San Antonio, different cultures there, yes. But it's mostly Hispanic-centered. Yeah. Houston is, like, the melting pot of the melting pot. Yeah. Uh. Yes. Like you okay. have maybe I've only experienced you have the white, white people. Parts of it. You have different types oh, of definitely. black people: Creole, Cajun, Vietnamese, uh, Thai, Lots all of, kinds of different now Asian you're talking cultures. To, you're talking to a guy who used to live like in Beaumont, like 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 thirty minutes east of it. So I've been to Houston plenty of times. You've definitely only been with, to the white places, with your the white suburbs. Family. Okay, my point is, I've been there. He's a definitely l- only been to like the woodlands and shit like that. <laughs> Does that sound familiar? No, that's but, the rich people, Katie. Okay, I know what Katie is. Ah. Yeah, but that's nor- uh, but that's north. I've only been there a couple of times. I know what that is, but I okay, that's not what I'm talking about. My point is, you gotta get into the into the city, Tim. There's plenty of culture there. Okay, my where point- do you think Third Coast rap came from? Okay, Paul Wall, my Texas friend. Texas rap in general. I got Houston. diamonds in my mouth. Beyonce's I'm from, from Houston. the south. That's true. Beyonce is from Houston. Okay, okay, okay. But, and Selena okay. Gomez is from Texas too. So she's not from Houston. So yeah, we're but not, not, not from Houston, that. but she's from Texas. So we win everything. Okay. Yeah, you, you had me, you, you won me with Matthew McConaughey, okay? You don't have to argue about Texas with me. My point is. How is about T Swizzle? Talking about cities. She's like here. from Tennessee. Yeah, it's the South. In the South. Okay, but listen, you got Chicago. Mm hmm. You got St. Louis. Mm hmm. You got Kansas City. You got Kansas. Well, that's actually a city. Kansas City? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's, it's in Missouri. Wait, isn't that mostly in Missouri? It is. Oh, it's I guess it's still Midwest. Yeah. It's both, but it's like um, mostly in Missouri. Let's see. Uh, you have Green Bay, Wisconsin. You had to Google the cities. I didn't know such a thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got Columbus, Ohio, where the, um, where I the think the Hall, Apocalypse of, starts. Hall of Fame is. Yeah. Something, Music Hall of Fame, I think, is there. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in, is in there. The Indianapolis. Okay, the South has Graceland. That's Elvis's home. Yeah, but he was unhinged, man. Towards the end. Towards his whole life, he had a mix. He had a mixed life. He had hard life. Okay, okay. I, I look. I, I look. I'm trying to find a reason not to give it to the South. I, I, I it's want, not. It's not, it's not going to happen. South, the South is better. It's just not going to happen, and that's okay. We set this pot up to for, to fail. I think this episode because it, this is just our bias. <laughs> no, I just this think is it's not a the general... Midwest versus the South. This is the South trashes the Midwest. Look, you have my vote when it comes to just Austin, and Atlanta. Atlanta's pretty cool. I've I've been there a lot of many times, and I, I like think Atlanta. it's just. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's the facts. Midwest, okay. you need some more beaches. That's that's what needs to happen. Where, Where are they going to get, gonna get an ocean? <laughs> Global warming will set that up. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, uh, it's coming soon, so we'll see. All right. Uh, vacation spots. Yeah, the South. South has it, got it. I mean. Who's, yeah. what, do they, what do they got? Branson? Well, I was trying to think of like nature. That's like, Vegas for Christians. I, I'm trying to think of like national parks. And actually Midwest actually might have this because you got places like That's South Dakota, North Dakota. Pacific Northwest has yeah. a lot of 
But, like, if you think of, like, national parks, you don't think of Oklahoma. No. Or Arkansas. I think of maybe, like, Nebraska. Or Louisiana. No, I think of California. I don't. But in the Midwest, think you think of states like uh, like uh, Minnesota and, Nebraska, well, not Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota. Um, I, I would say they have better outside you know, national parks then. I know it's great for hunting. But here's the thing, Tim. People come here. Oh, yeah. Midwest for I'm hunting. more of what you would call indoorsy. So national parks are not where I would okay, go look, on my vacation. We gotta give we gotta give Midwest one category. No, we don't. <laughs> I don't I don't if they think fail, it's we don't have spots. to do anything. Look, there's only two things in life I have to do, Tim. That's stay black and die. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gotta give the South or the Midwest nothing I don't want to. Okay, fine. Nothing they don't earn. For all you guys out there that live in the Midwest, I'm trying here. <laughs> I make no apologies. Your area sucks. Harley wanted I don't to defend think you guys. It, I don't think it sucks. I just don't think it has what the South has. Uh, that's just a fact. Like, they just don't. It, Look, it I, doesn't mean it's not pretty or I like glorious. I get it. You glorious. can find home anywhere. Home is where the heart is. Home is where people that's love you. That's not what we're saying. But no. The Shh. South. The Shh. South. It's okay. It, it's just it just doesn't have what the South has. It doesn't take away from what it does have, but in this particular topic, it don't got it. It just don't got it. Hospitality. Oh, I think the Midwest are so much nicer. Uh, that, there's no, there, I definitely give it to them. I don't think there's Southern hospitality anymore. The, That's the, not real. The, the, and the one that is, it's it's so much. It's filled with sarcasm. Yeah. It, it's oh, it's bless been, your heart. Bless your heart. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. No, I'll, I'll give that one to him. It used to exist. The Midwest can have hospitality. Yeah. I, I feel like everybody and I've ever met in Kansas has been, like, so nice. Yeah. My favorite like, part nice. of Midwest hospitality is, oop. Oh. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, bud. Yeah. Oop. <laughs> All right, there you go, uh, Midwest. We got you one. All right, last Very one. Nice people. Sports. Texas. That's it. Game over. What are you talking about? The South has Texas. Okay. You have Illinois, which has Chicago. Yeah, but literally every Texas team sucks. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it sucks. The only team that's doing decently this year right now, as far as sporting goes, you have the Dallas Stars. They're in the playoffs right now, mm-hmm. hockey. You have Texas Rangers. They're okay. They're pretty good right now. And FC Dallas, they're they're about I think fifth in the in the league right now. So um, Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl. I'm that. just saying. Uh, Dallas Cowboys saying. nor Houston Texans have won a Super Bowl in the last decade. Um, you have... Um, I'm pretty sure <laughs> but all of the Kansas college teams have beat every single Texas team. I'm sure it's been vice versa, though. At least this past year, we've oh. been paying attention. They got into the last four for basketball. Men's... What is that called? The four... Final four? Final four? If it's Kansas, four of them, sure. Uh, yeah, K State got into that. <laughs> Good for them. Um, I don't know about the other states, but that's it. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. I think. I mean, look, you you have teams like okay in 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 the Midwest. You have your Iowa Hawkeyes. That's college. They do pretty good. We got Michigan. They have Michigan University. Um, as far as football goes, you have Chicago Bears. You oh baseball guys, we're forgetting about Chicago Cubs. Yeah. The Cubs. Kansas City yeah, Royals. I don't know how good. good they are recently. Um, I think they've been all right. They've been all right. They've been all right. All right. I. Right. Um, the Cardinals. Yeah. You got da 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 See, it's a little unfair. You know why it's probably a little unfair all the way around? Just, it's just the South has more population, which means there's more things. Yeah. In general. It is what it is. I mean, that's just coast. The know. Midwest is a larger... Uh, Oh, it's not a larger landmass. It's a more m- land per person. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes just uh, I see what you're more land per capita. Yeah, like there's less people per square mile. Just a yeah. lot of land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While the South, there is a huge amount of land, but more people per bit of land. Because like in New Orleans, you got several sports teams, and I mean you don't have any professional in Mississippi or Alabama, but you have Florida's got a few. Mississippi. Georgia's, yeah, Georgia's got a few. Carolina's have a couple. So, 
Yeah. Have you seen all of those TikToks of the girls? They'll be like, I'm going to Bama. (laughs) (laughs) And then they like scream their like future college. They're all really funny. But yeah, a lot of them are like, you know, southern states. I've seen this. Yeah, they're pretty entertaining. I feel like the South cares more about the sports though. Oh, well, it's definitely a culture thing. I don't know. The Midwest has got nothing else going for them. You know, I so. I'm about to say, have you ever watched that 70s show? Fair. It's like. Fair. <laughs> That's all they have. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, know. that might be debatable. I, I also don't care for sports. So yeah, like, I'm not a sports guy, so I don't know. I think I think the Midwest is more, and hear me out, I think they're more about like football yes. style sports, like and even hockey, depending on what part of the Midwest. Oh, hockey, yeah. And then the South is like baseball, and yes, football, but baseball, like more old timey. Um, I don't know. Blue collar is Midwest. That's that's what I think of. I also think of the South as blue collar. Yeah. I don't know. I think Midwest has also got baseball going for it because you know, a lot of land, How lots of baseball, it? lots of sand, lots. I think. I think when I think Midwest, I think actually where did more, Field of Dreams happen? Iowa? No, no. Was it Iowa? I don't know. I just Nebraska. Asked you. Cornfield. It was a cornfield. It was a cornfield it's somewhere over there. Yeah, Midwest. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. I think I think South won. I think so, and that's fine. Sorry, we'll, Midwest. we'll give the last two to the Midwest. They can have I sports and hospitality. Once I the <laughs> South gets everything else. We didn't talk about weather. Oh yeah, we skipped the weather. What? Which would you call? The weather oh, here the sucks. Wins. Okay, this actually might be a good debate because which one would you say wins? Is it? The more fun weather or the nicer weather? Because the better weather. The, the like, South definitely has more weather. The weather that doesn't kill you. It's as the much. weatherist weather. Um, the South literally can get hurricanes, it can get tornadoes, and it can get like earthquakes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The Mid- Midwest um, doesn't get any of those. Yeah, yeah they so might that's have, pretty cool. Well they have tornadoes. They get tornadoes, yeah, but But, but we're wait, prepared wait, wait, for wait, these things. Wait, wait, wait. Blizzards. They do have that up north. Yeah, but apparently we have those. that here too. That's a good point. Yes, we just had that for like the past three years in a row. <laughs> Global warming is real. And you've also been getting a crazy <laughs> amount of tornadoes, more so yeah. than I thought Kansas was going to have. So I don't know. I think the I, South has more weather, so we win. I think it has worse weather, I, which I, means you lose. It's the weatherest I, I weather. Get, I think I'd give it to Midwest. It's the I weatherist think. weather. The only thing that I have the learned hurricanes about just kill us. the Midwest. That is so bad. There is wind, but it cools you off when it's hot outside, which is really nice. And the only thing that I thought Texas was really bipolar when it came to weather, because it'd be like, you know, 60 and then like, you know, 90 in the afternoon, whatever, or like 100, whatever. Um, Kansas can be like 30 in the morning and then 100 by the afternoon. Mm. And then windy. But it's a dry heat. (laughs) What's the feels like? No, Texas is way more dry. Really? Depends on yeah. where you go. I don't know. If we're I feel talking like Houston, that's like a soup bowl. Yeah, you will be moist <laughs> at but all times. See, damp. that's another thing about Houston. You're it's damp. moist. Stay inside. <laughs> <laughs> stay inside. If you don't like it, get out. If you can't stand the heat, get out to the kitchen. All right, that's all I got. I, I, I think the Midwest wins weather because they actually experience seasons. The South does not experience seasons. We experience seasons. Yeah, and drastic. You what? Hot you get season? No, not rainy a rainy season. You cold. <laughs> or rain really season. Really hot season. <laughs> and hot. And then no rain season. <laughs> kind of cold season where it's foggy in the mornings. Mm. Yeah. We get we get all this. All four seasons. I give it, yeah, I think Midwest, Midwest definitely right, has Midwest better. gets weather. Yeah, Fine, right. whatever. I still Ooh. think the South beats the Midwest any day of the week. Where would you rather go? What do you mean? Would you rather be in the South or would you rather be in the Midwest? I would rather be in the Midwest with the people that I like. Okay, assuming the people that you like are going with you wherever you go. Midwest. Yeah, I think I like around the, well. I would rather be in the South. I like the easy access okay, to are like we, beaches are, are, and things. Are we keeping the politics? Ooh. If we're keeping the politics, then, then I, I'm make, going to the Midwest. Then I'll if probably we're keeping go somewhere the in the politics, Midwest. politics. I am going to move out of the country. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and evacuate. But no, notwithstanding politics, where would you rather be? Midwest. Uh, south. I've learned south. to like south. it. Yeah. I've learned to love it, actually. I like Texas. I like to visit. I've enjoyed the visit. But oh, Harley, damn you. 
they converted. I was always like, yeah, yeah, Texas, I love Texas. And then I experienced somewhere else, and I was like, whoa, I don't have to suffer every second that I'm outside? That's actually insane. We lost a good one. Damn. Could never imagine. Hunter. Freaking Hunter, man. He's a pretty good Fair salesman. <laughs> <laughs> All him, right. Tell him to quit the army. I'll give him a job. He, no. <laughs> she thought about it for a second. You saw that, right? <laughs> But see, I don't want to move back here, especially to this area. Oh, heck no. Do you know what's going on in these schools? That's fine. Nope. I'm trying to leave too. Hard pass. I don't want to be here anymore. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> I think that's enough of that. On that note. <laughs> Let's go ahead and head into our last break. Stick around. We'll be back in a second to do more stuff. The Amanda Show. Welcome back to our nice little hot tub of ideas, our melting pot of perspectives, mm. our soup bowl, if you will, of thoughts. Yeah. What was that? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed, Harley. <laughs> I need to. Harley's so tired, guys. <laughs> It's been a long <laughs> vacation. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. We're going to jump right into our fan questions. This is where we answer your questions. Yes. Nope, that's the wrong Bro, one. come <laughs> on. Tim is also tired. There it is. Uh, yeah. All right. This is where we answer questions you guys have for us. They can be literally anything about anything, and we will answer them as truthfully as we legally can. Woo. We also have our new Always More hotline if you would like to call in our questions. They are phone numbered at 254-218-4042. Once more, that is 254-218-4042. And remember, that is a voicemail, so you're not talking to anybody live. If you no feel one will like, respond to you. If you feel like you don't like making phone calls, that's fine. We don't like answering them. <laughs> but you can also send them to our social medias, our email. You can ask us individually over personal message. Text us if you have our numbers. We love questions. This week, the question we are asking. Comes, we are being oh, sorry, asked. We are being asked. That's right. Asked. It's comes, to from, us. comes from Shane. Shane asked, what's your go-to nostalgic comfort food? Chicken and rice. Mm. Classic. That's mom, a good one. My mom used to make it a lot. It was always one of my favorites. That's a good one. I think spaghetti for me mm. with mm. like a nice red meat sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's because we were poor. I really like... We have that um, a lot too. <laughs> I feel that. Like a canned chili. Ooh, oh, yeah. wow. That's very... Can chili. Yeah. With or without beans? I like both, but because my dad's from Ohio, we did with beans. So That's another the thing the Midwest has for them. Beans! <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing we have. Corn beans. and beans. Chili! Guys, we forgot chili! Chili, yeah. <laughs> chili's really good up there. I feel like Texas chili's better. Yeah, but if you're but asking you where beans. is chili, chili known for, like where, where is it? Where if I were to say if if there's a state that you have to pick where they eat chili the most, it's would, not it's Texas. Like, I would say Chile. Oh uh, my God. Okay. I also think biscuits and gravy is a comfort food. Oh Ooh, yeah, biscuits one. and gravy. Oh. I had that for breakfast this morning. Mm. Janelle made Delicious. cheddar biscuits and gravy, and it was phenomenal. Mm. Like the phenom. It was so freaking good. Yeah. Biscuits and gravy, eggs, bacon, ham, and melon. Beans, Golden beans, dew beans, melon. Beans, I had a really beans. good breakfast today. Nice. That's good. And then I had lasagna for lunch, mm. which is basically spaghetti. Chris, I am jealous. Not jealous, but like. No, yeah, jealous, jealous is a yeah, good word. Yeah, is a good word. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying your life is perfect. And by no means am I saying that. Um, Everything is great in your life. It's not Everything because of mental awesome. illness. But if there's one good thing that's going on for you is your wife's cooking. Oh, yeah. My God, man. Your wife is like the best person ever. She is. I don't deserve her. Nope. She makes good food. She does. 
I need to stop by more often. I you do. do. <laughs> well, you decided to elope. Move, move to off Kansas, to Kansas. To the Midwest where there's more tornadoes and more chili and beans. You guys get more tornadoes than I do. Yeah, but ours have Don't. cute names. What? Like Dennis. <laughs> Did he just say Dennis is a cute name? <laughs> Very clearly, I'm also man tired, you know? and I need sleep. So before uh, one of us passes out or says something we can't take back, <laughs> final thoughts, guys. What do we think? Look, I, I you, think I think the South wins. <laughs> Look, you 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 live where you want to live, except Harley. You need to live down here. But you, what I'm saying is, look, most of us we are dependent on the time and place in which we were born. And so, uh, if you live in the Midwest, then we apologize for you. Um, oh. Come live in the South, and um, we can show you a good time. I would not suggest coming to live in the South with the current political landscape. No, I'm hoping they come to change it, dude. I'm thinking what needs to happen is we should just buy a commune and all live on that. Just, huh. like, make our own food and I just keep our own bees. I don't want to live here yeah. anymore. It's just not, a, it's not the vibe. Yeah, I didn't sorry. realize how, like chaotic i was living until i went to where so, there was like a place where i could actually be peaceful and like not stressed constantly and i was like whoa this is a whole new world for me <laughs> it's like Fair when enough. your brain kind of like actually goes quiet yeah and you're like whoa i don't know something's what that's wrong like. live where it brings you peace whether that's because of nostalgia or whether that's because you're finding a new awakening or a new home live where you find your peace mm -hmm. what is it like to have your brain quiet i i I've never said I've had my brain quiet, oh. but I imagine that's like the feeling. Like that's what it's like. If you're listening to this and your brain can be quiet, please tell me what it's like. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you all again for listening to our podcast. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a rating on your favorite podcast platform as long as it's good. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Always More Pod. Tim, where you at? You can find me on TikTok, Facebook, TikTok, 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 Facebook, Instagram, and everything at, at Timothy Lutie. It's L-I-E-C-H-T-Y. My God, I mean, can't sleep. spell your own name, bro. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Instagram as Captain underscore CT Ford and TikTok as Christopher dot Lionheart. Harley? I'm on Instagram at what Harley, W-U-T Harley, and on TikTok at HarleyBean.co. All right. Thank you again for listening and for being a part of the conversation. And remember, there is always more than this. Bye. 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 Hey, love you. I mean, it probably is. You think you're getting deep fried Twinkies, but it's really deep fried racism. <laughs>